The Taliban's glass ceiling has our politicians reeling. Yeah, in a typical State Department fail, they're surprised the Taliban's cabinet is all male. Officials express their deep concern that the new Afghan government has no women in charge. Sadly, instead of the future being female, it looks like the Flintstones, but with our Apache helicopters. <laughs> One thing about the Taliban, they're kind of a boys' club. They're like the Chippendales dancers, except their clients are goats. <laughs> Yet, thank you. Our State Department is shocked. They're shocked. The Taliban 2.0 doesn't look like the faculty at Vassar. Vassar? Whatever. But with less armpit hair. Perhaps it's their wokeness that makes them so clueless. For added insult, the new Afghan cabinet includes four Taliban big shots Obama released in 2014 in exchange for Army Sergeant Bo Bergdahl. That's right, those dirtbags got fat and sassy at Gitmo, and a few years later, they're back in power. It's the worst trade since we got Alaska for that broken Nintendo. Oh I love Alaska. I do, too. <laughs> Give the Taliban credit for their patience. All they had to do was wait for a president who's so weak he'd hand over his dog for a scoop of butter brickle. <laughs> but there is progress. Hoping to shore up their ties to the gay and lesbian community, the Taliban announced that they'll only be throwing homosexuals off roofs who aren't vaccinated. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Kat, uh, what are your thoughts? The, the State Department was shocked there's no women in the cabinet. Yes, I, they were. Uh, I think... <laughs> the Actually, they do keep women in a cabinet, but not yes. that cabinet. <laughs> yes, as, you know, objects. Which is what's <laughs> what? Of course, that's but it's true. Like yes. you, women aren't human, which yes. is why also the worst part is I've seen other places sort of take and run with this narrative. I saw this is a headline on CNN about this. Taliban uh, Taliban fighters use whips against Afghan women who are protesting the all male interim government. Like, as if that's the thing specifically they're protesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they're protesting the fact that they're, you know, not seen as human <coughs> beings. Right. It's not even close to them being part of the government. Uh, it's, I guess we finally found something that they're willing to say bad about the Taliban, oh, right. though. Yeah, I found uh, something else. I lack found something. of diverse representation. Yes, exactly. Not inclusive. Finally, they're going to say, oh, now they've gone too far. Exactly. You know, Emily, no trans or bisexual in their Ooh. cabinet. Travesty. It is a travesty. But look, what I, are, I mean, oh, sorry. Yes, go, go ahead. ahead. You go ahead. Just what are Americans supposed to feel? What are we supposed to think? So we have on one hand, our largest law enforcement agency telling us that this guy is one of the 10 most wanted criminals in the entire planet. Mm -hmm. And then on the other hand, we have our impotent Biden administration telling us, oh, but no, take a wait and see approach. This guy is in charge of law enforcement, all of law enforcement of Kabul. And we are supposed to just wait <coughs> to see how he does. And oh, the more horrifying thing, however, is yes, that this Sharia law, terrorist supporting organization government didn't put females in their ministerial spots. Mm -hmm. That's what we're supposed to be upset about. Yeah. Because they don't have ovaries or they didn't vote for these people. That's 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 the Delhi nation. Why we're supposed to care about something? It's ridiculous. But honestly, I think people see through this sham. They they see through that sham of a president because Americans care about each other, right? We care about our allies. We don't leave each other behind. Speak so for we, yourself. Well, yeah. <laughs> they agree with me. I know, I know. All right. Rick, so you run a pawn shop, you make deals all the time. How do you feel about the four, like, what a deal Obama made with uh, Bo Bergdahl? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's, it's just like we have, like, it's the new AI, but it's like, um, you know, absolute idiots. I yeah. mean, we, uh, no, I, I mean, like, you, you literally have, all, he hasn't fired anybody. Remember, like, when yeah. uh, Trump fired a bunch of people to begin yeah. with? He's fired nobody. No. Because he can't fire them because he hired every woke person and every gender and everything else like that. You gotta and remember he's... their names also to fire them. <laughs> 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 and uh, he has all these really arrogant people who, yeah. they all believe they're doing a great job. Just everything is being handled by people who are not doing a great job, but they're all doing a great yeah, job. Yeah, it's, it's all for our own good, so that's, that's why they can be so bad. Last word to you, Tyrus. What the f <laughs> <laughs> You are shocked <laughs> that women aren't in the government? Yeah. And by the way, those goats are held against their will. They are not, <laughs> they are not willing participants. <laughs> I just think we need to get that out there. The goats try to get on planes too. Yes, they, they just. Did.
their their paperwork wasn't right. It's mm. hard with a hoof yes. to get your passport. But the fact that they're so what are they gonna do? They're gonna cancel them on Twitter. Yeah. What, what are they gonna? They're gonna take away their Emmy that they gave them. <laughs> like what other? They're as soon as that came out in the meeting, and I know Joe can't because he's an old white man and he's not supposed to be there. Yeah. So anybody he fires, he's gonna get sued because he's a misogynistic whatever the hell they want to call him that week, so he can't do anything. So they're literally sitting there going, do you believe mm -hmm. that they're not putting women in the government? As soon as that came out, even if I yelled out any name, uh, Fran Tarkenton, you're fired. Like, just <laughs> get out. If yeah. you really are that stupid, yeah. that you, I can't believe they didn't have women. They don't let them read. Yeah. Right. By the right, way. Think. By the way. Think who uh, they marry, but sure, balance the economy. Yeah. <laughs> But by the way, the Taliban also banned girls' sports, which is awesome. <laughs> a sexist would say, a sexist would say that. All right, coming up, don't go away. Donald Trump has more to say.